Well, a fortnight to go, and former DA leader Tony Leon is on the campaign trail today. He kicked off uh, party duties in El Dorado Park, south of Johannesburg. You'll remember that Leon led the party until his retirement in 2007. We had to find out uh, what he believes the party still has to offer South Africans, as we're joined by ENCA political reporter Govan Whittles. Govan, good afternoon to you. Now, Tony Leon, if I'm not mistaken, hasn't campaigned for the DA uh, for the past uh, two, three years at least. Uh, what's the DA trying to achieve by uh, bringing him out? Well, it's a last push, Jeremy. His last meeting where he actually campaigned for votes was a by-election in Houghton, ironically, uh, with Herman Mashaba. But he says he's back on the campaign trail after being convinced to come back by the party's national leadership. And here in El Dorado Park, he's trying to consolidate the DA's support. Of course, this area scored almost 70% uh, for the DA in the 2016 municipal elections. Um, and some of the other areas and people that Tony Leon will be meeting with during his 10-day campaign trail here in Gauteng include uh, communities in Centurion and businesses um, in Ikuruleni. Uh, there, Tony Leon says that he will speak to people who may be slanting towards voting for the Freedom Front Plus. Ironically, he says that they've stolen one of his old uh, election slogans, slant rech, or fight back. Um, and it seems as if he's here to reassure the DA's core base uh, to stick with the party. That, of course, as uh, some of the other opposition parties say, they believe they're making Grounds, inroads into the DA's territory um, because of issues such as land expropriation and the DA's position towards affirmative action and BEE. So exactly what then is he telling the people of El Dorado Park and perhaps more interestingly how they're receiving the message? There were about 50 people here, Jeremy, he went on a door-to-door -door visit telling them to continue voting DA and continue to try and rally up support for the DA in their communities. Um, but the message that he brought across here was one of reassurance. Uh, Tony Leon saying that the, the Democratic Alliance uh, uh, maintains that El Dorado Park is an important constituency from them um, and he would like to see the DA support grow in this area, particularly in Gauteng. But he's also telling the people of Eldos to get more support for the DA in other areas in Gauteng, saying that uh, they're on the cusp of winning Gauteng, or maybe through a coalition. And he says uh, that uh, through this campaign trail, he hopes to galvanize the DA's volunteers and their core constituency uh, to expand uh, uh, their reach and to get some growth so that they can achieve a percentage which may put them in power. I'm also wondering whether he's expressed a view at all about the party's position. It's politics at the moment. Uh, the, ask, the For instance, the, the, the nasty scrap with Patricia DeLille. Does he have a view on maybe how that could impact on the party's performance come May? Tony Leon certainly agrees that uh, the infighting within the DA and how it handled the Patricia DeLille matter uh, was damaging to the party's brand. He said as much. Um, and he says uh, that voters may punish the DA at the polls for how they handled that issue. And if they did, he wouldn't be surprised if they did that. And uh, he says it would be their right to do so. Uh, but he says that uh, since Patricia DeLille left the party and started her own party, it now opens up uh, uh, the, the voters to make a choice and, and to really reflect how much support she had in the first place. But Tony Leon saying that despite the infighting in the DA, he believes that the uh, revelations around the ANC's Bosasa matters um, and some of its lists um, have led to the ANC starting off on a good note um, and kind of sliding backwards, whereas the DA started off on the back foot, he says, um, and has now managed to repair some of the damage. So he does believe it will have an impact, but he's not convinced uh, that it'll be a big enough impact uh, to damage the party's prospects of possibly winning power. On the campaign trail, Govan Whittles in El Dorado Park.